This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, today onwards, I have started one more series that is called uh, Selenium Coding Assignment Series. That every week or maybe in every uh, two weeks, I'll be giving you guys a, you know, a basic assignment on Selenium or maybe on Java or maybe on framework designing part. You have to complete that assignment, submit to me, and there is a prize money for that. Initially, prize money is a little uh, low because obviously I have to take care about the budgets and everything. But uh, this is the these are the best questions uh, available, uh, you know, on the basis of the industry and interview questions are going on, and it will give you a really great help. And please try your best shot to solve these problems, solve these assignments. And I'm pretty much sure that okay, you will crack a lot of interviews and a lot of offers you will be getting. Okay, so I without wasting our time, I'll take uh, the first assignment today onwards. Uh, today it's 5th April, and this is a Selenium coding assignment. So what you have to do, guys, that this is the problem statement. Okay, maybe let me change the numbers like this. Just a minute. This is fifth number, and this is sixth number. So these are the six things you have to automate. First, you have to go to this particular site, zoopla.co.uk. You have to input location as London and click submit. So I'll give you the practical thing that what exactly you have to do. So you have to click on this particular site. Let's see. And uh, this is a UK based site where you can find the properties in UK. What you have to do, there is a search field. You have to write London. Okay. You have to select London and then you have to click on search. When you click on London, you will see there are different properties are available, having the property picture and property name, right? Property value or something like this, right? What do you have to do that? Uh, you have to print all the property, this particular value, there's a property pricing value in the sorted order and it should be in descending order, right? So this is the first thing. Second thing is what you have to do that after printing all the uh, price value, you have to click on the fifth property. So let's see, this is the first two, three, four and five. So on five number, this is 9,50,000 euros. And this price is always different. So next time it will be a different price. So this is so dynamic in nature that next time the different property will be displayed at fifth location. So what do you have to do? You have to click on this particular fifth location. And after that, you will see you have to verify a couple of things that uh, over here that what is the agent name, agent logo and the agent number. You have to print it on the console. After that, you have to click on this particular agent. You can see that Foxtons Notting Hill. So Foxton Notting Hill. So you have to click on it and you have to check that Foxton Notting Hill is available over here as well. So you have to verify that after clicking on the agent name you are landing on the agent page and you have to check there is a this is the same agent is available over here or not right so this is the just an assignment for you guys a very basic assignment i have written the complete uh, uh, steps what you have to do so again the naming sorry numbering is wrong yeah so these are the seven steps input location london click on submit you will get a list of properties on that page Print all the price value in sorted order, descending order on the console output. You can print it. I need to select the fifth property on that list. It's changing every minute. So it's dynamic, right? On the next page, there is a logo name and telephone number of the agent. I need to click on the name link to get into the agents page. Once that page is open, I need to check that the property listed there belong to the same mentioned agent on the page, right? So this is a very simple thing. But don't write inside the main method. Whoever is writing inside the main method, that assignment will not be accepted. What do you have to do that? You have to use Selenium with Java. Java is mandatory for this particular assignment. Your code should be designed with page object model series. I mean, I mean page object model framework. You can use data driven or hybrid or whatever, but you have to create a proper page object design. Define all the proper variables and method names. Make sure that okay, all the method names are um, relevant method names you are giving right naming convention properly you're giving unnecessary methods and unnecessary variables you are not defining right code should work without any error without any error without any exception it should work right 
and use testng library to write the test cases you can write different test cases to assert the value you can write the valid required assertions with the help of testng and then you have to submit the coding assignment to uh, to this particular email with the subject line like this selenium coding assignment 5th april by naveen automation labs and you know my this is my email id naveen animation let me naveen animation 20 is my gmail id you can submit your assignment over here <clears throat> or you can share your git repository or as a zip file also you can send it to me but whatever the git url you are sending to me please use this particular subject line right the prize money is 500 inr because we starting with 500 maybe later on i can increase the prize money but total prize money is two the two best solutions uh, you know will be awarded with 500 each so guys do your best okay but if you feel that okay hey, you are not able to do that but at least send it to me your assignment so that i can have a look but make sure that okay you are completing the assignment right so this is the uh, selenium coding assignment the first assignment is very very simple later on i'll give you some more complex assignments and uh, i'll i'll do one thing that i'll uh, upload this particular document on my drive on my google drive i'll share the link of this particular assignment in the description of this particular video please have a look complete assignment don't share this assignment and the solution with anyone okay please share it to me only right and don't share your uh, don't take any help from any guy you can take help from google but please do it by your own okay and don't drive this assignment from your experts someone expert in your company or your friend this is just a Right, right. This is just for your uh, knowledge point of view so that you can practice accordingly on Selenium and Java. Okay, guys. So cool. I'll be uploading this particular video on my channel. And you know my channel name is Naveen Automation Labs. And uh, yeah, and in the link description, I mean, the, in the video description, you will get the link of this particular assignment. Have a look. And if you need any query, you can put your query inside the comment section. Right. Cool. Thank you so much. And uh, keep watching Naveen Automation Labs.